Before starting installation of Novik dry stack stone, make sure you have all the required tools. Scaffoldings, ladders, circular or table saw, drill, cutters, knife, hammer, measuring tape, chalk reel, level, pencils. Each box of dry stack stone siding has a detailed installation guide to help you perform each installation step. Please refer to this guide before you start. Always begin the installation from left to right and make sure that a wall is completed before beginning a new one. Always begin at the lowest part of the structure. Always nail through the installation holes. Each complete panel must be nailed through the center hole and have a minimum of three nails in the mailing channel at maximal intervals of 16 inches or less and one nail in each lateral hole. Always nail each panel's center hole first. If the hole is missing, measure to find the panel's center. Never hammer the nails in completely. Leave a gap of 1 16th of an inch. Make sure that all pieces are properly joined together. When using our Novi Trim 1 trims, leave a space of 1 quarter inch between the inside wall of the trim and the siding. You are now ready to start installing Novi Dry Stack Stone. Install the starter strips at the lowest point of the structure. Measure at each end of the wall to determine where you will be installing it and draw a line using a chalk reel to ensure the panels stay level. Place the starter strip leaving one half inch gap from each end of the wall or from the decorative corners. Nail the starter strips through the nailing holes at maximal intervals of 8 inches. Do not forget to nail through the center hole. Install the next starter strip by sliding it leftward to the stopper in the previous strip and nail it as mentioned above. Repeat along to the other end of the wall. Don't forget to leave one half inch gap from the corner of the wall or from the decorative corner. You can install dry stack stone decorative corners before the starter strips. Don't forget to leave a one half inch gap from the ends of the corner to start installing the starter strip. To begin the decorative corners installation, join two decorative corner sections together so as to form an inside or an outside corner as required. Install a first corner assembly at the bottom of the wall and nail the central hole and both extremities on each piece. If the corner is installed at the base of a wall, butt the bottom of the corner assembly against the floor. Install another corner assembly on the wall by inserting it into the lower one and nailing as mentioned in the previous step. Repeat until the top of the wall. For the last corner only, cut the excess, insert it into the lower one and nail it onto the wall. If there's no center hole, only nail the two extremities. If installing Novi Trim Polymer two-piece trim, you must install the trim base prior to installing the siding panels. Cut your two-piece trim at a 45 degree angle or at right angles. Nail down the center nail first. Make sure the base is straight and level. Put nails in the center of each nailing slot on each side of the center hole. Never hammer the nails in completely. Leave a gap of 1 16th inch. A minimum of 7 nails is required per full length base. Measure the wall length to determine where to cut your first panel in order to avoid having a very small piece at the right end of the wall. Be sure to align adjacent walls. Cut the left side of a panel in a clean straight line. Insert the panel into the starter strip using the hooks on the back of the panel and leave a space of one quarter inch between the inside wall of the trim and the panel. When using decorative corners, it is not necessary to leave a gap between the corners and the panels. On each panel, 
nailed through the center hole of the panel. Also nail the last hole on both ends of nailing channel and the lateral holes. If the panel is installed on a wall with furrings, a furring strip is required behind these holes. If a panel piece does not have the initial center hole at the middle, drill a new center hole of 1 8 inch diameter at the same height as the other installation hole. Install the following panel by hooking onto the starter strip and sliding into the previous panel. Nail, beginning with the center hole. Repeat this step until the end of the wall. Make sure you carefully measure the cut on the last panel so that it fits neatly with the corner. If using trim, leave a gap of about one quarter inch. Start the second row by cutting the first panel with 16 inches increment from the cutting line of the first row. Slide the bottom of the panel onto the continuous slot on top of the previously installed row. Proceed with this row and subsequent ones taking care with each new row to alternate the position of the cut on the first panel. For a finishing touch under the soffit, first install the Novi trim base before the last row. Then measure one quarter inch from the inside of the trim to the panel's insertion slot of the previous row. If you need to attach panels where the nailing channel has been cut off, use a knife to create a one half inch slot that is wider than the body of the nail, but narrower than the head. Although not set in installation holes, this type of slot will allow the expansion or contraction movement. For underneath windows, repeat the same steps for installing under the soffit. Clip Novi trim tops on the base. Press gradually along the trim until the top is clipped uniformly and at the right depth. Make sure each clip is engaged. Like trim, Novik Mountain blocks come with a base that should be fixed to the wall before installing the siding panels. Make sure that the base is straight and square. Secure it with nails or screws in the center of the oblong holes. Cut your panel, making sure to leave a gap of at least 3 16 inch between the base and the siding. Attach the top to the base. All installation guides for a 